new federal law trying to stop organized retail theft took effect today. The law specifically cracks down on the sale of stolen items online by making sites collect information for certain sellers. But will it actually have an impact here in the Bay Area where there have been numerous high profile robberies? ABC 7 News reporter Tim Johns has the answer. As retail theft continues to be a major concern across the Bay Area, help could be on the way. On Tuesday, a new federal law attempting to crack down on the online sales of stolen goods went into effect. And they're trying to suffocate the, you know, the supply chain here, basically the whole chain of the, of the theft by going after the outlet, the illegal outlets. The law would require online marketplace websites like Amazon and Etsy to collect and disclose information about some third-party sellers, specifically sellers who had more than 200 sales, amounting to over $5,000 or more in a year. Professor Ahmed Banafa is a tech expert at San Jose State University. He says with the growth in fencing of stolen items online, he wishes penalties for those caught were harsher. It's a 50 to $120 per violation, according to the FTC. That is low. A view that's shared by others, too. I think it's going to be a very small step in the right direction. It's going to s slow down some of the sales, but they'll always find a way around it. Matt Ross is the spokesperson for Californians Against Retail and Residential Theft. He says this law by itself won't be enough to stop retail theft in places like San Francisco. Get more law enforcement on the streets, start looking at the sentencing that we're doing right now for these types of crimes, and let's start turning those things around. Ross worries that without more action, the problem could get worse. That's why his group is working with businesses up and down the state. They're not only worried about their loss in the store, what they're really worried about is potential threat to their employees and to their customers. We never know when one of these instances where someone's going to start walking out with a bag may turn violent. In San Francisco, Tim Johns, ABC 7 News.